Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome to Honey, I Joined a Cult. Well, this game, guys, I believe we're going to be building our very own cult and trying to get people to join and brainwashing them. Now, I know what you're thinking. I always knew that Sediak dude was a little bit dodgy. Well, here we go, guys. Is either going to go really well, going to make loads of money, converted people, or... <laughs> FBI! Open up! I'm gonna get arrested, guys. There was always something fishy about that dude, Seniac, and now we low key know. But, guys, if you do enjoy this and maybe want me to turn it into a little bit of a series, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're new around here, then make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. But this game kind of reminds me like a little bit of Prison Architect. Instead of building a prison to rehabilitate the wrong ones in life, we are building a cult. To convert people into our way of life. I already feel kind of sucked in because of the spirals in the background right now. But we're going to jump straight into a new game. I've never played this game before. So this is going to be really, really interesting. Now, from the very, very limited knowledge I've got of this right now. Apparently, kind of, this little cutscene, there is... You know, a building going on right now. There's a cult going on. And then it kind of gets raided by the FBI. But the problem is, they shut down the cult. They get everybody out of there and kind of save them in a way. But they can't prove that this dude right now was the cult leader and was in charge of this whole little operation. And that's where we then step in to create our own cult from the ashes of this one and try to convert everybody. It kind of reminds me of Prison Architect slash Rimworld. It really does. But I'm going to skip this little cutscene anyway and jump straight into it. Because we got to do all the customizations to go on to create our own cult. So here we go. The cult customization. The leader, which is me, Jaboy. Um, my title. Um, Master. <laughs> Master Folio. Oh, I love it. I already, I'm already in love with the game. My first name is Sediac. Last name can be full. There we go. Over here we have the info. The name of the court can be um, the Folios. The Folios and Divine Being. All above we. Tr oh, this is the person that they kind of worship. The Fool. Masterful, look. Um, Santa Claus. Well, I'm the masterful. The oh no, we, okay. They can worship the foolish, the foolish one. There we go. And then the 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 cultists. So what what they are when they're converted? Life had no meaning until I became an elf, which is obviously going to be. <laughs> Dull. Fool. And then pl the plural word to it will be fools. No. Folios. There we go. The room, the holy room. If you wish to progress, you must worship in the... Ah, the house of S Spod. Right, the house of Spod. We can call it the temple of... Temple... Oh, hold on. Temple of... Foolish. Temple of Foolish. And the relic, we shall protect the... Oh my goodness. This is this is hilarious. The, the relic... Right. Fool... The Foliac is the name of the relic. Right, okay. Now I get to customise the visual aspect of it. We are really kind of added to our cult right now. So this is me. I take it. Is it me? Is it the leader? I don't know. But let's try and make it look like me right now. We'll give him a little bit of a uh, beard. That's what your boy's got right now. Make it um, like a dark brown uh, face. Um... Oh, oh, okay. We'll take that face. Uh, the head. Oh, it changes the shape of the head. We'll go for that head there. Uh, hair. <laughs> Give my dude an afro. Now, does that make me look like a cult leader? I think it does. I also look like Jesus. I'm going to go with that because it makes me look higher, mighty, and all-powerful. Uh, hats. 
we have a bunch of different styles of hat rights that we can literally put octopus on the head. Do you know what? Let's do I'm putting an octopus up on my head right now. And these are all the outfits that we can utilize from. Whoa, what was that one? <laughs> oh my god, how cool is this gonna be right there? Oh my goodness me. Oh, I do like the red. Oh, that looks pretty cool with the red octopus. Right, we'll go with that. So then the logo of the cult. There's quite a few to choose from, isn't there? What's catching my eye the most? Oh, an elf. It kind of looks like a fool, doesn't it? I'll go with it. And then the cultists, then. These are what they look like, I assume, when they get converted, then I take it. So do I also give them... We'll... Okay, see, I'm the leader red. We'll make these yellow. Is it the same? Yeah, yellow. So when they get converted, they're yellow, but I'm red as the leader. And then the relic, obviously, this is what they all worship. Is there anything that looks like super foolish? Um, I mean, that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? A scarecrow. <laughs> right, we're going to make them worship a scarecrow. What will be the perfect base? The yellow one? This one? Yeah, it goes with the hat. So, I think we're pretty much good to go, guys. I'm going to leave the tutorial on so I know exactly what I'm doing. But this is our cult. I am Saniac Fool, the master Foolio right now. And the cult we are creating is the Foolios, and we all worship the Foolish One. Once you join our cult, you'll be known as a fool, and when we get more recruits, we'll have the Foolios. And they all worship in the Temple of Foolish. And they worship and protect the Fooliac. I think we are ready to create our very own cult. I'm telling you guys, that Seniac dude always knew he was dodgy right now. Hello world! Here we go boys, here we go. I am Seniac Fool, but you can call me Master Folio. Welcome to the Folios. The Foolish One told me you were coming. The Foolish One tells me loads of stuff. Uh, just me, though. Nobody else can hear it. Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> the Foolish One also told me you were going to help get the Foolios up and running. It's pretty much your destiny. Uh, I'm more of an ideas person, though, so you're going to have to do all the groundwork. Oh, okay, so I take it that's not actually me. I'm just the dog's body. He does all the work for him. Right. So, uh, basic controls then. So, using was to move. And then move the camera with the mouse. So, zooming in and out. Oh, no, you can move with the camera with clicking in. Gotcha. Okay. Zoom in to the maximum amount. Okay, and then what? Zoom out. There we go. Look at this. I'm learning to play it. I'm using. I'm learning how to use a computer. Good. Not a bee in sight. Right, okay. Folios are the engine of our organization. They perform all the daily duties and keep everything running smooth-ish. Uh, save for the missions, uh, they are said odd. Folios spend their entire lives in this beautiful compound. They are truly blessed. Actually, sometimes they're arrested. <laughs> but uh, that can take them off the compound for a while. That hasn't happened in weeks, though. Okay, good. Most importantly, Folios extract money from our visiting followers. They need this money to realize their mysterious grand plan of the Foolish One. Right, big words right now, but I think this is where we're now going to get ready to rock and roll. So I've purchased this compound with some money from a previous venture. We all know about the previous venture. We go develop the state of an art facility that will provide the needs of the Folios to make money from our followers. Uh, you talk a lot. <laughs> do I need time to do some work? Let's get started. Right, okay. So, how do I do this then? So, select a fool to view their stats. So, let's go for Amy Leaf here. Here are her statistics right now. Where is it? No, statistics are here. Okay, okay, okay. So, we can learn all about it then. The mood bar shows the overall mood of each fool. Okay. Everything that affects them. So it just became a new folio, so it gives them a plus 20 on the old mood boost. Gotcha. So we have to make sure that we keep all their needs going. So everything that needs to be, uh, everything needs solid foundations, even building. So let's construct then this room. So construct foundation. So are we going to do it with brick, with concrete, grey, metal, wood? These are different designs of buildings. 
ones. I think we'll go with, let's go with the, with the, 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 the let's go concrete. And that's gonna cost us 3,200. So build a door. So we've got a couple of doors to kind of um, utilize from. And I like this nice wooden door with a window or the solid wood door. Let's just go for a solid wood door. It feels more magnificent. So there we go. And then we gotta build some walls inside. So let's kind of, can I move this out of the way? Yes. So if I wanna build some walls then, how do I build wall? Ah, here we go. Now it's a concrete building, so we'll go with concrete walls. So all the way across. So we are now segregating this building into multiple rooms right now. Good stuff. And what do I need to do next? So next, uh, well done. The foolish one says to tell you that they are very pleased. Let's designate some rooms now. Okay. So, uh, a tired fool won't perform all the you as well. Their chit chat is also super dry. They need a place to sleep. Right, here we go. So we gotta build these, ah, oh, these are like dormitories that I'm building right now. So bedroom then, zone that. Okay, let's move this over here. So we need to place in then, by the looks of it, a bed and a storage box. Okay, so that'll be an object. So build five. Oh, they're meant to do five beds in this one room? So we've only really got a dirty mattress. How am I going to do five beds in here? One, two, three. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Can I? How do I? Um. How do I delete that bed? I kind of didn't mean to place that there. Oh, no, move object. There we go. And then mattress, bam. That's five beds, and they want storage boxes? Right, where are the storage boxes at? Aha. So we'll go one, two, one, two, three. There's five there. And now we've got to build a door. So the door is in this menu. Do I put a cell door on? Is that the right vibes that we're uh, we're giving out right now by putting cell doors down? I think what we'll do, we'll do a nice little red door. There we go. And um, I think we're done. Good work. Followers will sleep in beds during their assigned sleep time in their schedules. Ah, we can give them schedules. Uh, it's better for everyone if the followers have access to a toilet and a shower. Assign a bathroom from here. So build a door first then, and again, we'll go with the red door. We gotta assign the room a bathroom right now. And there we go. And uh, view the bathroom room specific objects. Ah, okay, that's a lot easier then. So bathroom, there we go. And then build two toilets, two showers, and two sinks. So where's the toilets? Oh, <gasps> it's an actual bucket. What is this place right now? What is this place? Hey, you, you guys want a bucket to have a poop in? The sink. One, two. And then a shower. One, two. I can do a drain. Do I put the drain like here? Okay, okay. This, okay I'm not, I don't think I'm allowed to place a drain down. Um, okay, we've got that in. Right. And now the canteen. So we've got the bedrooms, basically the bathrooms, the canteen, and that's pretty much all their needs before we have an actual worship room up and running. So back to the doors and keeping with the theme of the red doors inside these uh, buildings right now, assign the room a canteen. There we go. And now we're gonna place all this stuff down. So if I go, to, I'm in objects, there we go. Assign it to be in the canteen only. And we've got to place down a bunch of stuff. So the canteen table. If I place that like literally right there. The serving table then where they can get their food from. They need a vending machine and a water cooler. Nice. I'm on a roll right now. So that was sort of their hunger stat. And then place free de decor items. Can I search it by decor? Decor your objects. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. My bad. So, okay, right, 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 right. I think we'll put a nice little potted plant in there. We'll do one just here. And I'll do one just there for the bathroom as well. A couple little plants. Increase the room's mood, as you can see right there. 
Uh, you can view the prestige rating of a room by clicking on it. Oh, okay. So now this is our holy room. Okay. This is interesting. So we'll build this out of concrete as well. It's going to need a door. So I think we need to put like a nice grand door on. We'll go for that wooden door here. There we go. We need to assign it then our Temple of Foolish. <laughs> this is cool. This is really cool. And then in the room, no, object section, we need to then Temple of Foolish. These are all the stuff that we got to place in. So we need a, a lectern, which is one of these two. We'll go for this one. So he's facing this way. Uh, a couple of pews right now. Pew, pew, pew. So one, two. Only needs two at the minute. And we need to build an idol. So this is who we are technically worshipping. And then place a decor item if I really want to. So decor. We'll get... Uh, should we get like a nice little... Some flowers... And we'll get a nice little party plant over on that side. Oh, no. Okay, I can't build anymore. Fine. Didn't want to get anything decor in anyway. <laughs> uh, faith is drained by each fall. If it gets too low, moods will suffer. Okay, so we have to create um, sermons. Let's hold our first sermon before everyone stops believing in the foolish one. Right. So sermons will occur automatically each day, providing your holy room is fully functional and accessible if you have enough influence. It uh, looks like our first server is about to start. <clears throat> so we've got to wait till it finishes. And then that note... Oh, they're on the way. They're going to worship the foolish one. Then then they go and live and eat and stuff. This really is a cult. What have we created, guys? What have we created? So they're like, let's start. Okay. <clears throat> So something's happening right now. I don't know exactly what is happening. But these guys are being converted. I think these ones are already converted. Their mood's increasing. This person can always see something negative. Wow. So the sermon's completed then. Uh, let me move this out of the way. There we go. So we generated a nice little bit of uh, faith. Uh, the Seniac Fall mood increased, and the Seniac Fall energy increased as well. Overall, cool happiness. Uh, for those are feeling a real sense of community. Nice. So now that it's ended, objectives, select the Temple of Foolishness and the Sermon tab. Uh, there we go. And what can we do from this? Is it just viewing it, I assume? Yeah. Followers are the cash cows that we need to milk <laughs> they'll happily pay for all sorts of strange treatments in our therapy rooms okay so i'm building a therapy room next right this is interesting so concrete foundations again we're gonna get the beautiful little door on the side and assign the space for a meditation studio right okay so in this meditation studio let me just kind of bring this up right now um, this gives us a bunch of impact. So money spent. Oh, did they spend six big ones for using it? I think they do. I think they slightly do. So let's get the objects in there. Let me change it to our meditation studio. And we need to do a meditation stage. There we go. Uh, a meditation music we also need on the scene. Place it up there. And then some meditation mats. So they want me to do five. There we go. So a bunch of mats now in, and obviously place a decor option, which is optional. I'm going to get it in anyway because it only feels right. Get some nice plants up near the radio. That's done. So people love meditation. Sometimes I say I'm meditating, but I'm actually asleep. <laughs> Videos will work in the therapy rooms during their work routines. Right. Okay. So is this how we're going to slowly start generating cash? Because i got 14,055 big ones in the bank. We first need to convince people to become our followers before we can make money from them. Right. 
So this is the room that we build, the lobby, to attract new followers. So in here, then, we're going to place a door. So the door coming in, the door leading out. And when you, once you leave, you never return back to the lobby. Oh my goodness me. Right, it's got this lobby set up then. So, assign a lobby desk. There we go. Hey, welcome. Hey, may I help you? <laughs> and we'll play... We've got to make it inviting. If this is the first thing new potential people see, I've got to make it, like, super inviting, don't I? Um, right, we'll get in a little coffee table. Can I build any more? Get out of here, boys. We'll add on to it as time goes on anyway. So, you know what people really love? What? Paving tiles. Of course they do. Of course they do. So, objects, uh, floor, paving. What, 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 what style should we go for? The crazy... No, let's just go for normal paving. Right, there we go. And then does it want me to then add more paving elsewhere? I met some in the bar yesterday, and they said they'll drop by to check us out. They should be here any moment. Right, here we go. Could we possibly convert this follower? Or make them become a follower? So you got to wait for the person to become a follower. So it's an unknown female, apparently. But they're going to make it right now into our reception area, where one of our followers would show them the ropes. Welcome to the, the foolish cult. Uh, cult. <laughs> right, they're talking to him right now. Apparently they're loving it. They, they, they've learned all about how they get to have a nice canteen and they all sleep in beds and do poops in buckets. Couldn't be more happy. All hail Saniac Fool. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I'll be honest with you right now. Don't quite know how I feel about this. But we've converted another person. I'm feeling a bit guilty about splashing so much money on those luxury toilet buckets. Let the folios earn 50 big ones from our follower to show their gratitude. Okay, right. So, how do they do this? How do they make 50 big ones? Oh, they made $5.30 so far. Interesting. So, we can see from here then. You spend $5.30 in this room. Ah, okay. So I wonder if um, the more we add to these rooms, the higher the prestige, the more we can potentially charge. That'll be interesting. That will be interesting. Uh, she spent $21.20 so far. Now, if we convert her, we then have one, two, three, four. She'll be our fifth follower. So we, we've got enough bets. We're kind of fine in that sense. We are kind of fine. Now, can we fast forward? We can fast forward. So she spent enough time in the worship temple of worship right now. Now she's doing some some med. Is it meditation room? Yeah. I'm just waiting for. It. She's now uh, spent enough money in here. Uh, excellent. They clearly love the foolish one very much. <laughs> we want to send some uh, more competent folios into town to carry out tasks. Uh, others should probably never leave the compound ever. Wow. Okay. So now we got to launch a mission. So, oh, this is the map of the town right now. Okay. And we're here by the looks of it. So, this is how we're going to recruit new people by the looks of it. Uh, shouting, outing. So what, they just go out shouting. So level one. Let me just kind of drop this down so I can see. So assign a fool here. Oh, hold on. So assign a fool. And we'll assign Megan because she's unassigned at the minute. And begin the mission for her. So she then, I assume, is then going to go on her travels down to here, the town hall. Start shouting and hopefully... Get somebody who might be interested. So we've got to review the mission result once she's uh, done it. So we just kind of play the waiting game, I, ass I assume. Now, um, how much more until we can actually recruit here? Have I got to fill this up? 
Once filled up, you can attempt to recruit this follower and turn him into a fool. Okay, so we, we have got a long way to go. We do kind of low-key have a long way to go. So at some point, we are going to have to build more dormitory rooms. Oh, and then again, if I include myself in this, I don't have enough beds. Yeah. I don't, do I? Right, fast forward anyway, because this mission is almost done. I wonder if we get any new recruits. So, mission complete, turn in. So, outstanding success. Your fall returned. The outcome PR rating increases. Ooh. Nice. So, from this then, we have completed that. So, they're good at shouting, apparently. If we're going to make some serious money from farmers, we need to research. We need to research funky new technologies. Right, okay. We're building a new research office then by the looks of it. So we'll get our beautiful door on. And then objects for the research room. We need a office desk and a computer. Let me place the computer in first. Bam! There we go. Oh, and place a decor item, of course. Of course. I'll get, that, I'll get a filing cabinet in for the research place. Nice. So that's all done then. Uh, start in maintenance mis uh, research. Start maintenance research office. Right, how do I do that? Do I, oh, just research here. So a maintenance room then. This will allow us to wander the compound repairing broken objects and clearing uh, clutter. Oh wow, there's a lot to research. Oh my goodness me, there is definitely a lot to research in this court right now. So get that done. Slowly start researching. So complete the uh, research, so it takes a little bit of time. How's this person over here then? Oh, they're almost borderline ready to be recruited. They're spending a fortune though, aren't they, in all this stuff? They truly are spending a fortune with us, but it's needed. We've got to pay the bills somehow, boys. We've got to pay the bills somehow. So that research is almost all done anyway. There we go. So it looks like the cheap furniture we bought isn't holding up. This object has already broken. Oh, no. A more... An object is used, the more it's likely to break. I gotcha. So we've got an build, which I assume is our maintenance room. There we go. Let's bring that up there. So build, we got to get the door on it, of course. And then objects for the maintenance room. We need the cleaning cart, the tool trolley, and the workbench. And just like that, I believe the maintenance room is now all done. Next. Observe maintenance worker. Ah, is this him here? Yeah, I think they just went around cleaning everything, didn't they? So we do have some repairs to still get done. So select the maintenance worker, right click the broken item. Ah, we can add to it. Okay, so the game is currently paused, so by right-clicking it, then you add to what they can utilize the maintenance. Gotcha. Uh, okay, right, the, oh no, the authorities. Don't take Kylie to organizations like ours. We want to keep a low profile. Well, go to the town hall and shout about it and help him. Uh, he is a measure of negative attention that we are drawing uh, to ourselves So can we reduce the heat down here? I assume we can So my friend from the bar looks pretty desperate. I reckon they'll join our ranks if we ask them Are they ready to be recruited? So recruit a new fold. How do I do this? Right, so once follows me attempt to recruit them now, so select the follower And now we try to recruit. And we did it! They've got a, a squid on their head right now. 
Yes, boys! Just one more additional folio in the clan. The foolish one talked to me about a lot of different things. From raining down hellfire to summoning giant octopus creatures, which are on people's heads. There are, uh, well, really is an open determination. <laughs> Once you build the leader's sanctum, we'll be able to choose which direction we go in. Um, looking for a lava lamp? Um, okay. Uh, whatever we do, we'll need money, so make sure we've got regular flow of followers. Good luck, fool. Is that it then? Have they left me to my own devices? Do they really trust me to build this place? I think they do. I think they do. Oh my goodness me. So, we got fools having toilet breaks. We got fools eating. We might need to build another bedroom. Which is uh, what we'll get done. But is there anything we can research first? So, PR missions. We can do the recreation room. Which will unlock the leader's sanctum. Which is what we kind of need to get done. So, we'll give that a go. Right now. Uh, are we recruiting anyone new? Oh, someone's coming in. Okay. Oh, there's somebody already here as well. Ah, interesting. All right, all right. Now, at some point, we're going to have to build another bedroom. Now, rooms. Lobby, maintenance room. So, the only rooms I can do right now are literally the ones that we've unlocked. Until I can research some other stuff, basically. This is crazy. So hopefully we can keep on top of this then. So, right, let's get this other room sorted out then. Another bedroom. Okay. And objects-wise, we're going to select for a bedroom, which at the minute is only really this. Uh, a couple of storage boxes. We need a door in this place. And we did get an object in there. Now, I did notice the thing about lava lamp. I want to see what that's all about. Right, decor. Lava lamp. There's not really any difference in the prestige of the rooms from the lava lamp. But there's one thrown in there no matter what. So, research is slowly getting done. What's the Master Folio doing? Get here, boy. Letter schedules. Oh my goodness me. Apparently it's an awful room. Wow. <laughs> right, can I get the objects in down here then? So, in terms of decor. Lovely stuff, apparently. Lava lamps. We've done the research. Hold on. Plants either side, small little bookcase, small little cupboard, a standing lamp, and a tall mirror. What does that do for the prestige of this room? It's the first room a lot of them going to come into, so I've got to make sure that this one is extra special. But yeah, we've increased the prestige of the room anyway. So hopefully we can win people around. Uh, right, okay, so research then. We've now researched the recreational room. Which will then lead on to our leader's sanctum. But let's get this recreational room down first. So, objects wise, dominoes, recreation room. But we're going to have to build some more foundations, right? Um, okay, right, okay. So, if I build. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. What's this way? So there is a seven. So if I did a seven going this way, we should be able to win. Well, that would go there. 
I need the walls. And let's see if I can get this room in then. So this was uh, a da, 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 recreational room. And then objects wise, I want recreational stuff. So there's a couple of items we can kind of squeeze in. Uh, a dominoes table. The Rubik's Cube table. Slot machines? Is, is that... Does that feel right? A vital player? I'm just repositioning some of this stuff. There we go. So the sermon complete. Oh, I didn't even realize that was happening. Maybe that's what all the noise was about just then. So last week, we have spent a lot of money last uh, 24 hours, but we've lost a little bit of influence, but gained some faith. So I suppose that's going to be a good thing. Time for a rebrand. Get out of here, boy. So, right, okay. We can't recruit anybody new because there's no one new available just yet. People went home. But it's a good job I built that extra bedroom anyway. It really is a good job that we did that. So I suppose now then. Oh, oh, who are you? You're coming in to pay some money? So you're not ready to be recruited just yet. They're going home anyway. <laughs> right, research rise then. We're now on to the next one. So they want to need a sanctum to discover define inspirations so we'll get that research right now give that a go we've got no heats so that's all good folios these are our six out of the total nine apparently we can have or eight i don't really know followers these are the people that are currently coming right in right now they're the followers that we do have none of them just yet are or have the ability to be recruited so again, we are keeping our eye on it, boys. We are keeping our eye on that right now. So we'll wait for these to wake up. We've got to be the, build the leader's sanctum. So there is a lot to get done. But I think we'll end it for here. So if you want to see a second episode, guys, we'll build the uh, the Sanctum right now and really start to draw a path of where we go in and hopefully get more recruits. Let me know by smashing that like button down below if you're out there right here to make sure you do subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good.